Hey guys, welcome back to my Nicro Custom Guitars. And today I have a Fusion 360 tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how you can trace an image on Fusion 360. In this case, a guitar image. And this was a request of a fan on my Facebook page. Okay, so let's get down to business. Now this is the guitar that I'm going to trace or to copy on Fusion 360. This is one of my models and one trick for this technique to work very well is to find an image which is really a good front image, not at an angle. And this is a good image to start with. Now let's go to Fusion, insert and insert a canvas Select the plane which you want to put the image on and select the image. Now these are the options for the canvas. Here you can manipulate the opacity. For now let's leave it around 60. Um, here you can move the on the x-axis, y-axis, rotate it and scale it, scale the x-axis, y-axis, x and y. And some of you may be tempted to play with these values in order to get it to size. But as an image, you don't know exactly how big it is. So you can't really tell how much of value you're going to scale it. For now, let's just hit OK and leave it as it is. First step, I want to make sure that the image is vertically correct. Now you can say, yeah, it's quite good. But if I make a line from the middle of the strings down here, go up 90 degrees, you can see that on top here is not centered. But I know that down here I'm quite centered, so the image has to turn a bit. To do so, right click on the image here on under the canvas section, edit canvas. Um, you can rotate or finally adjust like so, but I prefer to enter the value manually. I start with a one degree, it's too much. 0.5 degree I'm looking at here mostly which is still too much 0.3 too much 0.2 0.25 and 0.24 I think is works very well and hit OK Down here is still good. So now I know that the image is vertically correct. Now, in order to scale it, there's a very simple method. I know that this guitar is equipped with a tunomatic bridge, and I know that the post spacing of this bridge is 74.06 mil. So what I do, I'll go again, right click on the image in the canvas section and hit calibrate. Now calibrate it requires you to put two inputs, make a line and recalibrate that line to a specific value. So let's hit the center of this post, the center of the other post. At this moment that line is 1.7 mil and I want it 74.06 and hit OK. And that's the image up to scale. Delete this line. Now to start tracing out the image, I like to start with a center line. And then, using 
this line command, I'll do little pieces of splines, the shorter, the smoother, and trace down the image like so. Now here I did a mistake. I can I can go like this because here I went a bit further out and if you can see the curve isn't really well. So um, just hit Ctrl Z, undo it and it will undo the last uh, bit and you can arrange better instead of deleting everything else. And now I have the outline of the image traced down. Now, let me turn off the canvas. Now what I like to do at the neck part, I like to join, simply join them straight lines, like so. And when I have the neck drawn out, I can align the neck. Usually this line would be 19th fret or between the 18th and the 19th fret. And then arrange this part to connect with the neck. If you press on the contour, you see all these green line and dots. These lines are there so you can manipulate each spline like so. Make them... specifically at your likings, even the spline themselves, you can move them. So you can adjust the design to a specific um, diagram. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and learned something from it. There are several other methods sorry, that you can use for this particular um, procedure, but I, I find that this is the easiest way to do it. If you're new to my channel, if you're enjoying what you see, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be aware about my future releases. I'll do CNC and guitar building related stuff. And to the new subscribers and to the old ones, take care and goodbye.